Well, 2014 is already off and racing, so it must be time for another update. Ross revisits the new Water Hero program, Cameron flicks through the Swim Australia storybook, Jay shares some important conference info, and I recap on a stellar month of media. Last year, Swim Australia and Energy Australia proudly teamed up to launch the new Water Hero program, encompassing a rebranded layers of protection. A water hero can be anyone from anywhere. They are heroes because they swim safer and are water savvy. The newly reworked layers include, be aware, don't let the kids out of your sight. Be secure, keep fences and gates locked up tight. Be confident, learn to swim and how to get to safety. Be prepared, always have a plan in case of emergency. Of course, each layer must be applied at the same time to help maximise water safety. Because all too often, accidents occur when one or more of the layers are overlooked. The pool might be a great place to learn vital swimming skills, but now kids can also get a good education through our new storybook. The Secret Door features Swim Australia mascots Swimmeroo and Saferoo. Although Swim Safer tips are strategically highlighted throughout the book, a realistic and interactive storyline based around a pool adventure enables kids to engage, understand the risks and enjoy the journey. Some swim schools are already using the book Poolside with its paperback option. Otherwise kids and families can view it in its digital format. Here's a snippet. Saferu explained how barriers around water are a very important layer in the protection against drowning. Mr and Mrs Platypus, your pool fence needs fixing and constant maintenance to ensure a safer barrier around your pool, Saferu said. Polly and Finn, what have you learned today? Saferu asked. We must stay outside of the pool fence unless invited in by an adult, said Polly and Finn together. This was one water safety rule they never forgot. Will you remember it too? So I'm uh, here at a swim centre today to see if we can figure out how these guys might be able to save a little bit of energy. Uh, where's your other manager here? I am. Um, it's a family run um, swim centre. It's called Menai Swim Academy. Okay, well let's, uh, let's go for a walk and see if we can find some things to help you save some money. It's great to see ceiling fans in, in the office. Uh, one of the real tricks with air conditioning is it's not so much about what the temperature is, but whether people are comfortable. If you set the air conditioning at maybe 25 degrees, but turn those ceiling fans on, you'll probably find most staff are really comfortable and you'll use a lot less energy. Uh, the other thing you might want to think about was, I noticed the air conditioning uh, unit was, was flashing at me saying change the filter. It's really important if you can uh, keep the filters clean in your refrigeration and your air conditioning units, and that'll save you a lot of money as well. It was fantastic to see a timer on the fridge. I mean, this fridge in particular is full of non-perishables, so we can turn it off overnight when the business is shut. Uh, this freezer is a, a bit of a challenge. It's, it's really badly iced up and when, uh, when freezers ice up like that they have to work a heck of a lot harder to be able to, uh, to, to work properly. So uh, I think it would be great if you can defrost the freezer. Swim media results for the month of January were absolutely huge. Print, online, blog and Facebook postings from Target Media resulted in the largest uptake we've experienced. Readership and circulation exceeded 2 million in just two weeks. Our first release identified potential risks around Australia Day parties and offered some tips on how to stay safer in and around water. Our second release in as many weeks responded to the highly contentious proposition of banning the backyard pool. Is this a good idea? We didn't think so. And again, our views were spread all across media platforms. The resulting traction has further helped Swim Australia in spreading our swim safer messages because when it comes to water safety, drowning can be prevented. It might only be February, but ASTA Convention 2014 and the Swim Australia Conference are only two months away. 
the ASTA convention is set to run between the 26th of April until the 4th of May 2014, with the Swim Australia Conference scheduled between the 28th and the 30th of April. ASTA convention 2014 program and online registration are now open and can be found online through the Swim Australia and ASTA websites. Well, that's another Swim TV update done and dusted. Thanks to Chermside Water Park for hosting us today and we'll catch you all again very soon. Thank you.